Starter in position for the final event. Light on set. Line looks good. They're off and racing. My tradition was a, a touch easy out of the gates and going straight back counter Versix. In turn, Fire and Vice was one of the first to show out with the auditor. They're both going forward. Alicia's out three wide, sliding across. Motomics ended up in a good spot fourth. My tradition improving along the inside. Seclusion's out a little bit deep. Two lengths back, ball lung. Counter Versix gets back and Red Cavalry's gone right out the back. So they work inside the nine and Fire and Vice coming off a good effort last week. Shows out three quarters to the auditor. Alicia three wide running third. Motomic's getting a nice run fourth off. Saying that, Shy is just keeping his mind on the job off the back. A length back then to seclusion. My tradition. Counter Vesic starting to make a move. It's going between runners. Ball lung second last. Red Cavalry. So down the side the pressure goes on. Fire and Vice just shows out from the auditor who travelled up strongly. Alicia back to third. Motomic hanging off the track fourth. Counter Vesic has saved plenty of ground. It goes up onto the leader's backs. My tradition trying to follow through. Ball lung. Seclusion wider out. Red Cavalry. They balance up. The auditor hit the front but Count of Essex is on the scene going out after it and Todd's going for five, Fire and Vice, Motomic and Borlung are starting to let down, the Auditor had a kick, Count of Essex is trying to get there, Borlung's coming late the Auditor's lifting off the canvas baby and the Auditor wins it, the Auditor beat Borlung, third will go to Count of Essex Motomic close up fourth, Fire and Vice fifth and then Alicia my tradition couldn't come on back behind those seclusion and Red Cavalry the last one home in the pot of gold to bring us home and Kimmy Gladwin salutes on the auditor. Got a good run up on the speed. He let down. Counter Vesix followed through. Todd was riding like a man possessed and he got a, into the clear at the right time. It looked the one there at about the 250, but then the auditor had its measure and then Borlung's come out of the pack down the outside late. Fire and Vice was up there too. Motomic just looked to be racing a little bit ungenerously. He probably wasn't at his best today, Mo Tomic. You just felt something wasn't quite right. But uh, he's run OK, but the numbers go into the frame. Five first, the auditor. Second goes to one. And that is Borlung. In 116.19, so a pretty good run for that uh, class. And third goes to seven. That was Count of Essex. A neck by a half the margin, so a busy little finish there in the final event. 116, 19. Fourth goes to four. That was Motomic. And fifth has gone to nine, Fire and Vice. So five, one, seven, four, nine to bring us home, folks. Five, the winner, the auditor. A good day for Gary Clark. That's four winners on today's card. A five-year-old Bay Golding striker. Actrice for Charlene Clark. Ella Clark and Tom Logan, trained by Gary Clark and Kim Gladwin in the saddle this afternoon. And uh, that gives uh, Kim... A double on today's card. He won on Dunkirk and he's come home in, with the auditor. So it's been a good day for the Clark Stable. And Gladdy and Toddy having a pretty fair day of it. Second goes to one Borlung, a six-year-old chestnut gelding. Strategic Geordie's goal for Chris Pollard, Ray Viger. And third seven, Count of Essex, five-year-old brown gelding. Street Cry Lady Paget, Gary Clark, Jared Todd. Winners heading down the race, the auditor. That's a start number 31. Three wins, ten placings, prize money getting up over the $80,000 mark now. And after a couple of consistent performances in recent times, the auditor breaks through this afternoon. But all honours to Jared Todd, four winners on today's card. Gary Clark, four winners. Kim Gladwin's picked up a double. And um, that's been it. The Jared Todd, Kim Gladwin, they're the, uh, the jockeys successful this afternoon. We stand by for correct weight to come through, folks. Just repeating, that concludes our proceedings here at Shenanigans St Patrick's Race Day. Uh, of course, we encourage everyone to kick on to Shenanigans this afternoon. And this evening, there's a live band going on tonight in there here on this uh, St. Paddy Day weekend, I guess you could say. And certainly uh, looking forward to that. Buses will be heading back at about 6 o'clock. And just repeating, uh, our next race meeting here will be on Friday the 27th of March. That's a twilight meeting here on the 27th that Friday. So I uh, look forward to seeing you out here for that one. We stand by for correct weight to bring us home, folks, for drinks.